Okay, I'm working on this, and I have to show you something very, very not cool. Um, so I've been testing out the H60. I'm considering putting it in this machine as the uh, water cooler uh, to replace the H80. And I uh, took it off after doing some temperature testing, after getting some very poor results, and I see this. Um, this is basically the worst thing that can happen. This is why I almost never ever use stock thermal compound and why I will never buy from Corsair again because this has happened to me too many times. This happened on this H60, this happened on the H80 over there. It's it's just unacceptable. I cannot buy things, spend this I think costs I think the H80 costs a hundred dollars right now or the, the latest model. I cannot spend money on things if I'm going to install them correctly following all instructions, tightening down everything as much as I can if I'm going to get results like this. This can destroy a processor. In fact, it, it, it is simply not okay that this keeps happening. And last time I did it, it was actually, the part that wasn't touching was actually on this side of the chip. I remember that specifically. So, that is the final straw. I'm not buying anything from Corsair again. Period. That is... I'm so angry about that. Because that is a... I mean, now it's a $300 chip. When it was new, it was $400. It's at uh, 3770K. And I cannot have thermal throttling happening on my computer and just any garbage that overheating does to it. Just, that is... This is more than half of the chip that is not being cooled properly. I just... That's it. I'm just not buying from Corsair again, ever. I just cannot deal with the shit.